Hey y'all! Today's tutorial is to learn how to create a similar contemporary abstract piece like this one here. I'm going to go over it step by step and give you a list of supplies and materials that you're going to need um, and some substitutions for different colors if you want to use something you might already have. Alright, so to start, you're going to want to grab a canvas, any size that you prefer. I am using a 14 by 18 inch canvas. And to start, the color that we're going to start with is a beige color. I'm using a unbleached titanium from Master Touch. Now another option would be to use like a raw sienna and a white to create a white beige tan color. So for the next step, you're going to want to grab some brushes, some water, some paper towels, some light blue paint. So I am using a lake blue. You guys can use anything. Um, there's a sky blue, any type of light blue that you have. And we're going to use the gel medium and we're going to mix those two together. And we want to make sure our base layer is dry. Alright, so I'm dipping my brush into a little bit of the blue there, just a corner. And I am going to kind of dab it on my canvas. So I'm starting on these little ones here while I wait for my other one to dry right now. So I'm just kind of adding a little bit of paint there. Then I am going to grab my paper towel and dab at the wet paint on the canvas. Just a light touch to start with um, and just kind of try and spread that paint around. And then I'm going to go and dip my brush back into the water and add some more water to my canvas. And again, go within with the paper towel and keep dabbing there. So you want to keep doing this um, and getting a couple different layers in. And what we're looking for is a textured look with a paper towel, but it's going to be smooth. Now for the fun part. So we are going to need raw sienna, gel medium, and a palette knife. So this raw sienna is a really good contrast for the blues that we are using in this painting. So go ahead and add some of the raw sienna to your palette. And we are going to use the gel medium and a little bit of the raw sienna on our palette knife to begin with. As you can see here, I have just a little bit of the raw sienna on the corner of my palette knife, so not a lot to begin with. And then we are just going to go ahead and start laying that on the canvas. And we are just going to continue to lay this paint on and then scrape it off with the palette knife. And I am going to start on the edges with this raw sienna color. Um, and then as you see in the final painting, we have a lot more of that color right in the center there. And so we'll start laying that on as well. So 
for the last two supplies we're going to be adding is the molding paste and a Payne's Gray. First, we're going to use our gel medium with the Payne's Gray, like we did the raw sienna, and we're going to start on the outer edges and just a quick layer right now. We're going to be using the molding paste to create some texture. And so we're going to use our palette knife and just start scraping that on our canvas. The original piece, I kind of have a half circle on the right side of the canvas. And so I'm just using an angu angular palette knife and I am just going to continue to kind of scrape that direction there. And so we just want to lay it on and then scrape it off and then kind of keep doing that. And that's how we're going to get all the texture that we have in this final piece. So I'm doing a half circle there and then I'm gonna do another ring around the outside of that. And I'm just using the modeling paste here. So each time I created this piece, I did the final steps kind of in a different order. You can do it however you prefer. You really just want the different colors and layers to be dry before adding on top. So the trick here is we're gonna wanna lay the modeling paste down and that's the white you see. So I'm not using white paint. I am using modeling paste and then I am adding the paint gray on the canvas as well. You're gonna want to Lightly lay your palette knife on the paint's gray and then slowly just move it across the top of that modeling paste. So you really want this to kind of be a one and done thing. If you do want to touch it up, I recommend letting it dry first and then going back in and you can add some of the modeling paste first, like I'm doing here. And then you'll want to make sure you wipe off your palette knife and you can kind of clean up those edges if you just scrape with the edge of your palette knife there. So we want to check and make sure we wipe off our palette knife. And I'm just going to add the paint square right there onto my knife and again a very light touch right over top of that modeling paste. The trick is to have a very light touch with this so that it doesn't blend but you can still see a layer of that white underneath. Alright so here is our final contemporary abstract piece. Let me know what you guys thought and I'd love to hear your feedback. If you guys want to follow my YouTube channel for some more tutorial videos and head over to my website and subscribe to my email list to stay in the loop with what I have coming up next.